The Gubbin Sayer and his son Keen began walking the long road before dawn for the second day in a row. And, just as the previous day, the Gubbin Sayer stopped at a small hill, sat down and refused to move. His son Keen, furious because this will be a second day without work, said, what is wrong with you? It can't be the same reason as yesterday because yesterday was crazy. The Gubbin Sayer repeats himself from yesterday. Keen, not short in the road. Keen is furious. How do you shorten a road? You can't bend the laws of physics that way. And he doesn't have a magic wand, so what is he expected to do? But the old man won't move. He says, no, just shorten the road. So, for the second day in a row, Keen goes home with a face that would scare rats from a barn. And his wife notices. Of course she notices. What's wrong with your husband? Says Athna. And Keen says, it's the old man. He's cracked. He's costing me money. I can't do anything. Can't get work. How are we supposed to pay the bills? Well, what's wrong with him? <sighs> Keeps asking me to shorten the road. As if that's a normal, common thing to ask a person. And Athna says, does he mean shorten the road? He says, I don't know. He's crazy. What am I supposed to do? But he's the boss. If he doesn't go, I get no money. So Athna says, now you're sure he means shorten the road, not shorten the journey. Keen starts getting a little pissed at this. What's the difference? Semantics woman. I can't shorten the road. But Nathan is a little bit smart and keen. So she tells him how to shorten the road. Next morning at dawn, the two men head off again. And at the same hill again, the Gubbin Sayer sits and says, Keen, not shorten the road, boy. Come on. And Keen says, really, again, three days in a row, you're going to do this again. And the Gubbin Sayer says, oh, I just want you to shorten the road. So Keen says, fine, I'll shorten the road, but you have to get up off your arse and help me. And the Gubbin Sayer says, all right. Oh, if I can, it's in my power, I'll do it. So Keen says, I ever tell you about that guy? Heard about him in the stag's head. He went out to Doyle's Fort Road to dig up treasure. The Gubbin Sayer starts walking again and says, No, I never heard about him. And Keen says, Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. No one told him, though, that, you know, this treasure on a hill at the Doyle's Fort Road was fairy treasure. Or anything about a ghost. And the two men kept walking. 